show today. I have this beautiful car, what's not exist anymore, but it's, it is still exists on the market, but it's not exist as a factory who producing those kind of cars. That's a beautiful Saab 9.3 and it's 2,900, 100,000 miles on it only. And it's a one owner car. So basically when you check the car facts on this car, there is a lot of service records and it looks like the guy was taking care of it. And I got this car as a trade-in from the new car store. So basically they got it as a trade-in, as a down payment, maybe for something new. And this guy was keeping this car all those 14 years and uh, on the condition I can tell he's been taken care of because number one all the all the features in this car are still working the top probably working I honestly didn't open it because I just got receive it and uh, I just received it by the tow truck driver so basically he dropped it I didn't wash it didn't clean it I didn't do anything with this car and I want to show it to you the way it is right now and it's still great I mean Saab has a huge history and right now if you if you didn't know about it so right now they still produce an airplanes and they are doing some stuff for the military and uh, I think mostly they sell in somewhere in Brazil maybe I'm mistaken maybe not but I'm following them on Instagram and I do like the way they still doing the business they might gonna go back to the car industry and produce something much better much newer but again if you if you don't know about the history of Saab they still produce in the Scania so basically in the Sweden they do in Saab Scania they used to do Saab Scania and the logo it's exactly the same you can Google it and check it out what's going on with that. But the Scania, it's one of the most popular cars in Europe. Not only Europe, I think uh, Australia, they are buying those cars and they're using it as heavy as they can. It's, it's the same exactly thing, kind of exactly the same thing as a Volvo trucks. So they, they're durable, they're really good and they are expensive. But what about the Saab? So Saab has a huge history, like I say. And back in the days, long time ago, maybe about 15, 17 years ago, maybe even more, I used to have a Saab 9000 and I fall in love with that car and I'm still checking it. There is a website, really interesting. It's called Saab uh, saabnet.com uh, or saab.net, something like that. So go again, you can check it out. It's an old website, but there's still a lot of Saab owners. They are selling and buying cars, buying parts, selling parts, and still even from 90s, those Saab 9000 still exist. And it's one of the most beautiful car I haven't, I haven't driven. It's just insane. Saab 9000, especially if you're gonna uh, get the Aero one, insane car. It's super nice. It's super super cool. And Saab, it's like something something else. It's out of the any other car industry. I think they've been spending so much money on the quality, improving their own cars. So at the end of the day, they just say, you know what, we cannot do it anymore. And they got sold. So they basically sold that factory who producing the not Scania's, they who producing Saabs to GM. And GM, when they took it over, they changed it a little bit. So basically all those 9.3, 9.5 and all those kind of car Saabs came after 96 or 97 when they got sold to GM and there is a lot of parts still you can buy from GM uh, they still compatible with some other Chevrolet but what's going on right now there is some Saab still in the market you can buy it uh, are you gonna really enjoy it you are gonna enjoy it believe me or not if you never drove one find one for sale go for the test drive drive it and see how you like it because I love it the way the turbo works the way the engine and transmission works it's just something else it's not it's not like regular cars you know if you've never been in Saab all these features you know when you turn on the night panel and all the the gauges just shutting down you can only see the speed so basically that's nothing disturbing you when you're driving on the freeway at night that's how they build they've been taking some technology I think some things from the airplane industry and put it in the car like for example the sign when if you're not going to click the belt on you're going to start driving it you're going to say sign uh, please use your uh, seat belt and that blim beam the way same way it's doing in the airplane and before in 2000 or 900 subs they've been doing fastened seat belts that's basically old sign to to click your seal beds when you're flying and by airplane, not by car. And only Saab been doing that. They have a unique technologies, I think so. They do have a unique design in all those lights, you know, even the taillights, it's 2009. And they've been doing it since 2006, 2004, I think. It's kind of cool, even right now in 2023, 
back of the car, it looks, it looks something different. I wouldn't say it's amazing. It is something different and it's something cool. Even this car is 14 years old right now. But what about the parts? Can you still buy the parts for this car? Can this car can still give you the joy because it's kind of old, it's not producing, there is no more dealers. Honestly, there is dealers like GM or Cadillac, Chevrolet, GMC, they still doing recalls. So basically, if you're gonna get uh, like subs, usually I was getting recalls for the airbag and I've been taking to Chevy constantly to change the airbags or inflators, whatever they've been doing with recalls. But means they've been using a lot of parts, same as the Chevy to put it on the sub. And it's just super cool. I mean, the shape of the car, if you're gonna just look at that, you know, all those handles, the way they made, it is, it's nice, it is quality, it's not falling apart. The door panels, you know, all the handle, handles inside. Yeah, they are like some switches, the paint coming off and uh, maybe something not working. But again, most of the time I see the old subs, they, they kind of abused, you know, but this car, it's one owner. That's why it's kind of so interesting to show it to you. It's still cool. It's still cool to buy it for whatever price you're gonna find, just see the condition, but it's a, such a strong engine and uh, transmission and probably you guys some of you had that car before and uh, you can tell you can you can prove it what i'm telling you right now when it's a low mileage or the car been taken care of the good way there is no modification of the market parts you know being involved just taking care of it the the way it's supposed to be this car gonna be such a nice reliable unit for such a low money Plus, it's a convertible. So convertible, it's perfect for California to drive it to Santa Monica, Malibu, or wherever you want to go. Just open the top and drive it there. That's all you need. Basically, when you're driving on the freeway, open roads with open top, it doesn't matter. You're driving Bentley, you're driving Saab or something else. It's just that, that piece of feeling. I mean, that feeling itself for yourself. When you drive in the convertible car, everything is open and it's nice. And it's not bad looking car. I'm going to do some polish detail, you know, uh, maybe put some new tires on it. So it's going to look nice. And again, if you check some resources, the old cars, old subs right now, they just skyrocketing. If it's low mileage, nice, clean car, nice, clean unit, even if it's high mileage, but it's still clean unit, it's going to worth a lot of money. It's not one, two thousand anymore. It's over ten. It is just insanely beautiful and uh, it's just insanely, <clears throat> it's just beautiful car. And uh, maybe because I loved Saabs a lot, every time I see Saab on the market at the auction or whatever, I'm always checking what's going on with that car, how many owners, you know, what's the condition, is it good to buy or not? And I'm always buying it if I see the good price. When you read in Saab, when everything is good, there is nothing broken and the car running perfectly, you're going as a sub. But if something happened with the car, you're not happy, you know, you have to spend money or it's giving you a problem, I'm reading it as a boss. So not sub, boss. It's really simple, but emblem, it's cool. You know, that lion, dragon or whatever is there with the crown, it's just, again, something else. And the Scania, they are sharing the same logo. So under the hood, we do have a... 2.0 engine sometimes aero they've been doing 2.0 engine but a little bit more horsepower this one i guess 200 horsepower in it and it's kind of simple there is a air filter you can replace it yourself the battery what's the most common problem for this car number one that's a power steering pump Be besides this power steering pump start making noise because it's sucking air that reservoir sometimes it's cracking or start leaking and uh, the seal the small little thing if you're not going to do it right away on time uh, it's going to give you more problem. But again, if you see the seal is leaking under the pump, so you can replace it and the problem is going to be illuminate. So number two, that's the spark plugs. Spark plugs, they are kind of common for the Saab. Again, I think uh, if I'll take it out, the spark plugs, I'm going to see probably last 50,000 miles, maybe even more. Nobody touch it, nobody replace it. I don't know why, but it's usually like that. So the cooling system, it is good. Again, if nothing is cracked, nothing is old, you know, nothing is leaking. But see, right now I can see the, the GM coolant red one and it's up to max. So I'm not going to touch it. I don't need to go there. And the oil I check, it's not that bad at all. So the poor solenoid valve, sometimes am I going to give you a valve code? Same as a GM again. And one of the kind of cool thing about this car. So this engine and this car got uh, coils, ignition coils for each single cylinder before 9,000 subs 
they used to have a cassette. So everybody was saying the ignition cassette. That means one ignition coil for the all four spark plugs. But that idea, if you know about Saab something, that idea for the cover and those, uh, those bolts, the specific, uh, specifically Saab bolts, they use it even on this engine. So the cover for the ignition coils and for the spark plugs until you're gonna reach that, it's reminding me kind of the same cassette from the Saab 9000. They're just like something, piece of something from the history they put in a newer car. And it's like everywhere, inside the car, interior, outside the car, you know, those emblems, the, the grills. It's all reminding me all subs. It doesn't matter what. So they are available in the different editions. And the station wagons, I used to have it. X, uh, all-wheel drive, I used to have it. 9.5 NG body, I used to buy them a lot. But right now, they're too rough. So am I going to find some good example and buy it? But they are available as all-wheel drive, and I think they made it again from the GM. They share it, maybe not same platform, but same uh, transmission and all-wheel drive edition. What else? Not much. That engine, it's really good. If you're going to put enough oil all the time, even if your turbo burning a lot of oil, but which I, uh, it's super rare when the turbo going bad on this car, maybe valve or maybe hose, but again, the good maintenance for this engine, for this car, even if it's too old and 100 miles and 100,000 miles on it, it's still good. It's still good and uh, it's not going to give you a lot of problems. That's from my experience. And believe me or not, Saabs 9593, from my experience, I had maybe more than like 70 cars of those. So I'm like, I was crazy about Saabs, same as a Subaru. Not anymore, but it's super sometimes, super rare. But again, when I see one owner car, one owner Saab, I just cannot go over it and not buy it. It's just, it just not me. So I have to go there and buy it. So guys, we're going to go inside, but I'm going to do it first time again. I'm going to try to open the roof and see if it works. In my opinion, one owner car in this kind of condition, for sure it's supposed to work. I open the door, look at the handle. It's just cool. So right here, we do have adjustable seat and it's a power seats. It's super rare when I see the seats not powered in the sub. Manual seats, they are kind of uh, kind of rare. So this beautiful key going between the seats in the middle and it just, again, kind of from airplane industry. Start it up. I don't have to do the e-brake. The car is running perfectly smooth. There is no uh, check engine light or something else. Check OK. Now we're going to try to open the roof. It's working. I mean, it starts working. Looks like it's going up. Hey, that's cool. That's, see, oh, nice. So it's unlatched. That's sometimes giving a problem to those latches on the front. Sometimes they just not working. So we got the open roof, convertible car. Let's put the windows down, all four. And it feels so amazing to drive the convertible car here in California, even other states. Maybe you're driving in Kansas or Arkansas or even Alaska when it's snowing, you just open the roof because you don't care, you know. You can turn on the heater, put the jacket, put the hat, you know, and drive it. Why not? You have one life, you have to enjoy it. Doesn't matter what you drive in, Saab or Bentley, it's always cool. So let's go with some cool things about the car from the back. So basically we have a glass, it's a white glass right here, right there, and in the middle. So the brake light in the middle, it is uh, white, right? Clear, clear glass. But as soon as I push the brake, it's gonna be red. And it's kind of cool. So the whole idea of the back end of the car is just keep it light, keep it so nice. And this aluminum piece right here in the middle, Saab logo, it's just super cool. We do have two antennas. So one, it's a IM FM radio. The other one, you would say it's navigation. Some cars, they do have navigation. This one, unfortunately, doesn't have it. But this one, it, it is for the satellite radio. And believe me or not, this car has it. And some of the 2004, 2005, they do have a satellite radio and it's still working good so what about the trunk compartment one more cool thing so that's the keys usually when I'm getting sub keys I'm getting one and the other one usually it's missing and it's all you know kind of uh, kind of sticky falling apart rubber and plastic piece but here I got the spare key and it's a brand new and it's not rare that's a super rare when you're gonna get original original key 
original Saab key still from the first owner I'm honestly they so they so kind of bad usually I'm uh, taking it off easily but here is brand new key and looks like nobody nobody use it looks like it's been sitting somewhere on the side at home and they've been taking care of it you know they've been using only one key even the original one the one they use it all the time it's not falling apart still all the buttons they are functioning good and uh, so up it's really headache it's kind of problem to make the to make the second key for this car usually my locksmith guy if i'm getting like hey man i have this key i need to make the new one he's like no 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 please just just buy the shell you know just buy the fob and try to make it yourself i don't want to be involved in this car so it's kind of not easy and the fact i got the spare original key it's super rare so let's open the trunk what do we got in the trunk it's not so like huge huge amount of space inside the trunk but still you don't have to put any cover like Mercedes or BMW it just showing you from the beginning the space you can use always and you don't have to take care about switches or something else right there on the side we do have amplifiers so the sound system it's not bad at all and uh, we have a spare tire so full-size spare tire with some tools and it's cool so you don't have to use the use some glue or compressor air compressor that's more than enough to show it to you from the trunk area so guys we're sitting inside this beautiful Saab 93 and look at the leather look at the seats it's like the dinosaur you know looks like they just rip off the dinosaur and put the seats for the Saab they still in great shape all the sides they still kind of uh, atomic and uh, they are comfortable look at this cup holder most of the time it is broken but this one is still working and it just pushing in it's sliding inside the climate control there is nothing uh there is nothing super kind of unique about it it's just a climate control but this night panel button it gives you the magic when you're driving the car at night and everything is dark around so you just push on the night panel and like you see everything is shutting off only your speedometer your uh, speed is going to appear other than that it's all going to be black and blind so if you don't like it you want to just sort some lights you know the green one and again because it's a kind of airplane technology they've been using only the green lights so it's not uh, affecting your eyes while you're driving this car at night this e-brake it's kind of unique again the lo uh, ignition lock it's in the middle but look at this e-brake you know it's not something you can see it every day you know the design of that it's all in the middle and it's sometimes if you never drove this up before you might gonna question you might gonna try to find the e-brake but it's right here it's right there in the middle and it's kind of cool it is it unique it is unique look at that cup holder right here in the middle so what you can do you can open this cover right and use it for some things you can drop some things your keys or maybe your cigarette pack or whatever you want but if you're doing like that it's going to become the cup holder for your coffee isn't cool it is super cool and there is nothing like that you can see on any other cars so the compartment right there it's not that big but again we do have one two three we have a glove box that's more than enough and we have a manuals 9.3 safety concern and uh, tire warranty and all that kind of stuff and there is one more uh, sub 9.3 it's on star so basically on star you know what it is there is a buttons where is it right here so if you need uh, uh, basically medical or any other help you got an accident you can push the button and help is gonna come so what else I can tell you? I can tell you about the switches, those door handles from the inside, they are aluminum. It's a plastic, but they cover it with aluminum. And convertible, it is kind of different. They do have those panels on the top of the door panels, right? The, the plastic black, black pieces, the sedans, four doors, they don't have it. It's only convertibles who got that. Plus the convertibles, they got the lock for the glove box. The sedans, they don't have a lock box this one does so the steering wheel shape again it's kind of questionable because i think the design they took it from the chevy and all those buttons they kind of reminding you chevy but again for me it is reminding me the old subs and one of the most unique parts from the interior those are air vents air vents again the way they made it it is from sub 9000 the old one maybe the older 900 uh, but it is unique 
look, look how they goes. And they are working, they're not falling apart yet. And it is from air technology when you when you somewhere in an airplane, check it out, just play with those lights, you know, the air vents, they're all reminding you SAP, or SAP reminding you about the airplanes. Like I say, there is a we still have a serious exam satellite radio, it's still working in this car. And uh it is cool, it's simple, but at the same time, it is a unique, nice car. There is nothing like Saab, nothing like the ignition lock in the middle, and that spe specifically unique key you can find on any other new cars. Let's see how it drives, and uh, let's see how the cluster works, because as soon as I step on the gas, the RPM going up, my turbo gauge going up also, and it's kind of cool. I can hear the sound of the turbo, you know, the engine working so smooth and perfectly. It's just something else. It's it's something else. 14 years old car, 100,000 miles on it, and it drives still smooth as a brand new. That's cool. Let's go. That sound of the seat belt and that message, use your seat belt, it is unique. It's not like regular cars. It is a sub. It is a. It's like an airplane. And you might gonna see the picture right now. You might gonna join me. The same way I'm enjoying this beautiful weather in California opened up by driving the Saab 9.3. Isn't it cool? It's super cool, guys. Believe me or not. It handles well. Now it's not asking. Now it's demanding to put the seat belts. Otherwise, it's going to start beeping more. Or maybe not, but it will. So the cool thing, again, about the Saab, what I like, as soon as I push the gas pedal, I can hear the sound of the turbo, you know, it's not the huge turbo, it's not making a lot of noise, but, and it goes, you know, the car goes, it's not flying, but it gives you that 200 horsepower more than enough, so you can feel the engine working, the turbo working, and the car in a perfectly mechanical shape. And it's soft. The transmission not jerking, it's not pushing, you know, it's not jumping between the gears. It just smooth. It's cool. It's up, like I say, it is something else. It's not like something else I can drive it every day. And I hope they're gonna be existed uh, more in a great shape and I can keep buying them, you know, keep driving them, not only show it to you, but keep driving myself because it gives me a lot of different feelings what I like from long time ago and I still like it, I still enjoy it. And one of the pictures I'm gonna show you to you right now, I'm trying I'm gonna try to do so. That's the way the cluster works. That's the way all the gauges works as soon as I press the gas pedal. It is something cool. I like it a lot. You know that that turbo gauge and the RPM going up. It's just cool, you know, for the car seven, ten thousand, five, ten thousand, even for two thousand you might gonna find this up like that and drive it for a little bit. Maybe it's not in a great shape. But it is a unique car and uh, again I like to show it to you that. So guys, today was this beautiful Saab 93 convertible and I'm always saying it, all the cars are beautiful because for me, especially Saab with huge history, uh, it just making me so like emotional, not emotional like I'm gonna cry or I'm gonna laugh. No, every time I'm jumping behind the wheel on the Saab and driving it, it just give you that my feeling from the, my childhood, I would say maybe teenagerhood when I was driving those Saabs and then just the way it drives, it's just insanely cool. There is nothing else like Saab uh, can be on the road. It's not super fast, it's not super slow, it's just the Saab. You have to love it or you can just don't love it and dislike it. But please put some thumbs up, guys. Please put some comments below. You might have experience with Saab and I want to see it. You might have the SAP right now and you have more problems, whatever I'm telling you right now. Again, put some comments below and um, I'm going to let you know what I think about it. Or maybe I can help you out, you know, maybe I can recommend you something. And uh, thank you so much, guys. See you next time.